Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Trust you good. Yeah, and you're staying safe too. I'm very glad to be here again. For those that are watching this channel for the first time, my name is Antonia Ogundari. And on this channel, I inspire, encourage, motivate, and talk about faith. And as you know that, God is love. So today, it's going to be a very interesting time. I'll be discussing about keeping silent, keeping quiet, keeping things to yourself. So guys, let's drink in to get that. How much does your silence or being quiet as any so much right? Okay. So first, what are you talking about? Silence, silence, silence. What does silence mean? Silence is the absence of sound. When you're somewhere and you're not saying anything, you're just sitting there, people might not recognize that you're there. Because there is no sound, that there's nothing to indicate that you're in that corner or you're in that place. And you keep quiet, is refraining from speaking or disclosing an information. So, we're going to be talking about the duo today. So guys, sit back, relax, sip your tea or anything you have in that cup and watch this and get value. As you know that there is power in silence, in keeping quiet and that makes you a research for other people because they want to know you more so why do you need to keep quiet why do you need to create silence keeping quiet helps you to be a good listener when you keep quiet you listen more and gain more and try to know who is who and what is what to so get your information crystal clear because you listen it's not just you just listen for fun that I'm just giving you concentrate then you get information you need from such group or set of people or from such person but if you're not quiet you the top back you guys are talking as only you're not giving yourself a that that space of listening to one another you might not get what the person is trying to pass across to you or what those people are saying because most importantly keep it quiet and listening makes you to get information and get to know who is that person or to know the kind of group you are here or second silence is golden if you rarely comment on any issues, folks will always want to hear from you. And since your words are rare, everyone will take everything you say important. Because you know, you're not just talking, you just don't comment on everything. Your words, uh, your words just comes once in a while. And anytime you talk, it has a weight. That is very important. See, everybody who wants to listen to you, when you just cough or you clear your throat, <clears throat> and everybody will start to laugh that say something is coming, wisdom is coming, encouragement is coming. Because you just don't talk anyhow, you are not noisy in your spirit. Just when you speak, you know that virtue is coming out from you. So everyone wants to listen to you and gain one thing or the other. Do you know what silence creates? It enables creativity. Oh, when you're noisy, when your spirit is telling you something, you can't hear. When you're 
For example, when you are receiving a call in a noisy place, you can't hear the other person at the end, at the other end, until you move out of that noisy place to a quiet place where you can listen. So that is just it. It helps our creativity because it builds inspiration, which builds creativity. Inspiration will come when you don't say you're quiet in your spirit, you know, inspiration will flow in and you'll be able to create it. Ideas, in short, concepts, different things that kept coming, you start writing them down, you start jotting them, or you just pick your phone and start writing it down. Then you're speaking or you're just recording your voice because you don't want it to go. So many things kept coming then. After everything, you sit down and start sorting it out. But when you're not, you can't get anything. The less are your words, the more authoritative they become. Like the other one we talked about. The less are your words, when you don't speak much, you don't talk much. Anytime you talk, it's carrying weight. So the less are your words, the more it carries weight, the more authoritative your words are. Keep it silent or keep it quiet makes you a wise person. You know that some people that when they want to do something, they have to like tell everyone, I am in this, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. Everyone's like, yeah, hey, really? They are watching and waiting to see that. But unfortunately, you might not be able to make up with it. You might not be able to do it. Because there are some people, there are some myself people in life that accept they accomplish that task, that project. If they say it out or they just say that to someone or anything, it, that is where it ends. That is where you are complete. That is the end of that project for you. So sometimes the ideas you have to execute something day, somebody else needs it. It's just like you're in the midst of your friends and somebody is bidding for a contract, you are bidding for a contract. And somebody is just sitting down watching and you are just talking, ah, that contract. You are just letting out all your secrets. That person is just taking note of it. It just makes use of your own idea to get the contract. How will you feel about it? So keep it quiet and keeping things to yourself make you more matured, wise, and you'll be able to handle situation, situations around you. Another thing that it does is it calms tension. Hey, when everywhere is tensed and you're just like, oh, you heard something about you. You, you heard something about you and you are so annoyed, you are so pissed off that you are just thinking like, let me see this person. I'm going to tell it to this person. We're going to sort it out. And you are boiling within you. God. Do you know that if you see that person, that it's going to, it's going to cause more damages because you will say things you need, you, you're supposed not to say ordinarily. Or because, or because you are now angry, you are you say anything that you don't care and at the end of the day, you tend to regret it. So, when you are, when even in the midst of that heat, you are calm, you are silent. Sometimes you are still boiling, but you are just trying to calm down your spirit. You are counting one to ten. You are just counting. You are maybe you are inhaling and exhaling so that you be calm. After you are calm, you just realize that when you are even want to, when you even want to discuss that issue with that person, you just realize that thank God you might even get some facts that you think was wrong before because it might be miscommunication before, then you get a board. If you are not a kind of person, or if you are a kind of person that anything you hear, you just react, you just reply, you just reply, you realize that you get more enemies than friends. And remember what the good book says, be quick to hear, but be slow to talk, be slow to respond, be, be slow to reply. And that is just the wisdom in it. Learn to be quiet. Learn to keep quiet. So, matters. Silence can help you to confuse people around you. Because they do not even know what you are, who you are, where you are going to. They might just see you, they might just know where you are coming from. They will not even know where you are going through. Because you are not blowing your trumpet. Because you are walking behind a door. Because you are waiting for the, for the right time to come out and shine. So, 
if you say everything about your life, things that is for your own consumption and you're giving out that, see, what you're supposed to do, where you're supposed to get it, sometimes you might not be there. Not that. There are some people that, you, 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 there are some things you say that you need help. That what, when you say it out, help will come. But things you need to do, do it first before you say it. Focus, be concerned about yourself. Focus that vision, pursue it. Don't let that vision be blown. Then come out and you just come out behind the door. You are called forth and you say, Wow, no wonder you are silent all this while. No wonder we're not hearing anything from you. No wonder there is no sound coming from you. So, this is what you have because there is time for everything. Even your talking, your speaking, your answers, there is time for it. Just don't just talk anyhow because you are not an anyhow person. Learn to comport and compose yourself. Because you're keeping quiet does not mean you're not knowledgeable. Does not mean you don't have something to say. Does not mean does not mean you do not know what to say about that discussion or that topic. Does not mean you do not have words of wisdom. No, but there is time for everything. Time and purpose, time and chances happens to them. And when your chance comes and you make use of it. Then you see that, wow, this is the time my voice needs to be heard. And share your work. Flying, you are growing because it is your time. So, always remember that does my work edifying, lifting, encouraging someone, or is hurting or discouraging someone? I remember that. Everything that comes from your mouth, every of your action counts because it's for so much. Guys, I trust and I hope you got value. You have learned and unlearned. And as you know, that that is what we do on this channel, building one another to become a very best and better version of yourself and a fulfilling purpose. Because what? The whole world is looking and waiting for your manifestation. So you can afford to be where you were yesterday. We are moving forward. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and let me hear from you in the comment section below. You matter so much to yourself, to your destiny, to your purpose in life. And to people that are looking up to you, you as you know, that I love you so very much. So, to the next video, catch you. Bye.